I just got to this 19-year-old uh, American Standard package unit, and property management had one of those, you know, little $50 tune-up guys out here recently, and said they cleaned the unit, cleaned the condenser coils, cleaned the evaporator, you know, serviced the whole unit. But when I get here, finding all this buildup and everything on the condenser, I'll show you guys the evaporator in a minute. But uh, uh, you could tell, you know, they didn't do anything. You know, these coils are dirty, dusty. I got all these panels off right here. So uh, we're gonna do a real condenser coil cleaning. Look at all that dirt coming off of there. these guys just try to come out and get quick cheap money and you know you get quick cheap results look at all that look at all that all that coming off this baby's gonna be clean once we're done victory home services llc out here in merced california serving the whole merced area down to stanislaw county san joaquin county Merced County, of course, you know, call me, you know, any AC and maintenance repair needs that you may need. I also do roof cleaning, gutter cleaning, pressure washing, soft wash, moss removal, algae removal, mold removal off of houses, dryer vent cleaning. I just did a dryer vent cleaning right before I got here. So business is picking up. Just started my business this year in 2024. You know, give me a call. All right, we just got done getting that coil cleaner on there, letting it activate, get all that dirt. Look at that chocolate milk that's coming out of there. All right, I'll let this sit for a little bit and give it a good rinse. Oh yeah, you can already see the difference. Yeah, I know that some guys are gonna say, oh, why didn't you take the whole top off? And clean it from the inside out and yeah yeah I totally understand you know I'm just doing a quick quick service for these people you know it's pretty thorough and I got multiple calls today just trying to fit in all my customers but this will definitely get it a lot cleaner than it was that's for sure Look at that, you can already see the coils exposing, all that dirt coming out of there. Now if these were completely plugged and it looked like there was carpet all on it, and I would definitely clean it from the inside out. But this one was pretty dirty, but it wasn't completely plugged. Definitely needed to be serviced, that's for sure. And I guess these other guys that came out here told these people that they thoroughly cleaned it and serviced it and, you know, changing a filter and checking the pressure isn't servicing it. And they told them that it was about three pounds low. This is an R22 system and quoted them about $450 to add three pounds of R22. When I came here, I hooked up my digital field piece probe and had about 55 PSI on the low side. Um, definitely not three pounds low. I let the, the owners of the property know that you know, I give my honest opinions. I'm not out to rip people off. That's not my style. But I'll show you guys the pressures once we get done with this. 
All right, just got done washing them, but you could see a big difference. Definitely brighten up those coils. Those coils are a little stained, but you can definitely see the coils back there now. So, got all that clean. Everything's much cleaner now. All right, let's move to the evaporator. The coil opened up and take a look at that. And uh, this company said that they serviced and cleaned the unit. So let's clean this coil. All right, so I just take my little brush that I got here and just carefully, carefully scrape off everything. You don't want to fold these fins. And then That'll create a whole mess in itself. Just go really lightly. Let's get all that debris off of there. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so we're gonna use some um, Evaporator Power C. That's what I have in here by New Calgon. Um, I would go, you know, all with the hose and everything, but we got we got a return right there. So I don't want any uh, water or anything falling down, <laughs> coming through the filter inside. So we're just gonna saturate this thing as best as we can let it sit there and activate you can see I uh, got all that stuff off of there and then the coil cleaner do the rest thing opened up now this drain is a little crusty so I'm gonna flush it out with my hose there we go Get that crap out of there make sure all that drains out yeah she's a that's fly won't leave me alone Looks like they got a new ECM motor. All right. Let's finish cleaning this guy. Yeah, this drain was clogged. There was a bunch of water that was standing in the pan. So uh, good thing this wasn't glued. So I just went ahead and flushed it out. This was tied into the plumbing and that was completely clogged. And the trap had a bunch of debris in it. But now it's nice and clear. The pan is draining fast now. Just gonna hook this back up because I don't want this, you know, going all over their uh, their roof here. All right. Well, she does look a lot better than she was. Got all that crap out of there. Clean the pan, the drain. You know, got the coil all sprayed down. All right. I'll show you these pressures. Okay. I was gonna show you guys the uh, pressures, but I have my digital probe hooked up, and uh, I don't know how I'm gonna film it if it's on my phone. Uh, I took a screenshot, so I'll probably add it to the video. But right now we have 55 over 145. Uh, 55 on our low side, 145 on our high side. Uh, it's about 70 degrees out here. So um, those are perfect temperatures, uh, perfect pressure, sorry. Um, this thing's not low on refrigerant, does not need three pounds. Uh, definitely needed an EVAP, uh, coil flush pan cleaning and a condenser coil cleaning, all which we did today. Um, so if you guys like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, please. Uh, Victory Home Services, we're a new home service business here in Merced, California. Uh, hit me up if you see this video, you're in my area. And I uh, hope we can do business. Have a good day, everybody.